Geneva state government gives federal government 48 hours ultimatum to prosecute security agents who raided Supreme Court Justice Mary Odelis Abuja home. Candidate gets into final week of campaigns with the Anambra state governorship election just five days away. We'll be looking at the strengths and weaknesses of those running for office. We'll also be reviewing the peppers. As usual, please stay with us. A very good morning to you. I am Messi Boko. Welcome to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. And as usual, we start off uh, the conversation with our top trending. Uh, but first of all, I'd like to say Happy New Month. It's the very first month in the month of November. The countdown already to December has already started. And I hope we have an amazing and fantastic November. All right, so on our top trending today, as usual, uh, we have the issue of the invasion of Justice Mary Odili's home. Now, the governor of River State, Yesam Wike, has issued an ultimatum to the federal government asking that those behind this should be prosecuted, uh, especially, I mean, security personnel involved in this should be prosecuted. However, on Friday night, it was reported that uh, some uh, men, some security personnel invaded the home of uh, the Supreme Court Justice in Abuja. And that's because they had an information saying there were illegal activities going on. But what's most amazing is the fact that, you know, there's a lot of denial. The federal government says they're not involved. Uh, you know, the Attorney General of the Federation is saying they're not in the know. So who ordered the raid? Now, these are some of the concerns that have been, uh, you know, raised. Some of the question, who raided the home of the Supreme Court Justice? Who are those who ordered the raid? What is going on? Is Nigeria on a state of police? And uh, is it that the federal government is no longer in charge of the country? Now, some people are already saying that this is also some similarity with what happened to Walter Nogan. I mean, ahead of the 2019 elections, uh, we see an issue. So this could just also be a similar issue. Now, these are some of the concerns that people are raising, that this could just be, uh, you know, another one ahead of the 2020 three elections but we're hoping that um, you know the uh, without even having the the governor of river state asking that these persons should be apprehended i'm hoping that the government should wake up to it although uh, I'm, I'm asking we already know that the uh, police is actually a, a, a serious issue is not controlled by state element and these men will not just go out on their own without an instruction but it's really really funny that at this point in time we're still asking and no one can actually you know, say, yes, we're responsible for this invasion. But however, we hope that those who are behind this would be um, prosecuted and justice would actually be served. All right. Uh, moving away from that is also another major concern, uh, some uh, video that actually made the rounds and it cost a lot of conversation across the board. We had all of the conversations in different uh, space where you had students singing the national anthem in murky water somewhere in Yaba. Uh, it's a very swampy area. Now the school is meant for uh, some people are saying, oh, why would this happen? We'll definitely get to that point. But you need to understand that this school is meant for the less privileged and orphans. And so it therefore means that it's not a government school. It therefore also means that they probably might not be having the resources. But you also want to ask yourself, where is this school located? In a very swampy area. And uh, that calls for a lot of concern. Now, some people are saying this school should be shut down because, first of all, you can't have student learning in such an environment where they could contract all sort of, you know, uh, disease. You could have, you know, cholera outbreak and what have you. Now, the environment is really, really sad. But I think that, you know, it's based on the premise that one is trying to draw attention of relevant quarters, the government, you know, to. Um, to the situation at the end of the day. But let's see how all of this actually pans out. And of course, the government has also uh, made some release and some kind of statement. And we hope to see what happens after this statement, you know, by the government. Okay, so we'll just quickly take, you know, a look at the video and you see for yourself what the school looks like.
Well, it's a very, very sad one, if you ask me. I think that uh, for whatever reason, attention could have still been drawn without having to uh, have these kids inside the murky water uh, just to draw the attention of, uh, you know, relevant quarters, including government, you know, to the state of that particular school. But should the school be shut down? Because, I mean, before you situate or uh, have a school, you should actually, uh, there should be some environmental uh, assessment done and uh, no school should be situated in that kind of environment. Yes, I know that there's need for charity and, you know, the work of having to um, help these kids um, get better education. But we need to do the right thing and we need to keep doing and pushing for the right thing. But we will just, uh, you know, fingers crossed and see how things actually pan out as we uh, proceed. All right, another one is the fact that government has released uh, names of escaped prisoners, and that happened in uh, or your state, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, prior to this time, there was also a hint that there will be a prison break, but uh, at this point in time, it, it calls for a lot of concern because, I mean, in 2021, this is not the very first time you have um, prison being broken. And then when you have information or intelligence, one will expect that uh, the relevant quarter should act and ensure that that doesn't happen. Being proactive is what we are not really great at. And that's really, really, really very sad. But like we always say that security is not just government's concern. It, it concerns every other person. I'm hoping that uh, we will all be out looking out for these persons because that would eventually constitute a nuisance to the society. So if you peradventure find uh, the names are already out there, I mean, you can see the pictures on their faces on the street. It's important that you report to the relevant quarters and they should be uh, re-arrested and kept in check. Uh, in check. However, we'll take a break now and when we return, we will be looking at the front pages of a national dailies. We will have Femi Lawson join us in the conversation. Please stick around and stay tuned. Good morning.